Okay, hello there everyone, welcome to today's Outlook. So here we have a Fall 2021 Outlook. So as you can see here, we're going to start off with the North Face and then sort of travel up, down, up, down. So starting with the North Face, you'll see what in turning cooler. So what you're going to see is typical of a La Nina pattern where you have above average rainfall and what's looking like later on towards the season. So say November, maybe even snow towards the high elevations of New Hampshire, Vermont, and Maine. So there's that. And it will also be warm initially, warmer than normal. But then as you approach the latter part of the season, you'll see more cool waves move through the region, which is normal for La Nina winter, I mean fall, so then it starts turning cooler than normal. Then here, it looks like it will be very hot and potentially muggy with pop-up storms early on the season, but then as you trend it towards the latter part of the season, so towards October and November, then you'll see things get a bit drier than normal but for the early part expect it to be hot and also hot during the latter part then down here in the southeast you'll see tropical concerns dry and hot so initially you'll see some tropical concerns because of a la nina fall it actually increases the probability of some sort of tropical system, so tropical depressions, storms, or even hurricanes, moving through mainly around here. So there's that concern, and throughout the season it will just be pretty dry and hot otherwise. Then to move up to here, it, throughout the season it's going to be slightly drier than normal. Obviously a storm or two will come through once every while, but otherwise, again, slightly drier than normal. Then, also, for the most part, it will be a bit warmer than average as well. But obviously, again, as you get later into the season, some parts towards the north will start trending slightly cooler, but again, starting off a bit warmer. Then, up here in this relatively broad area of red, frequent storms later turning cooler than normal. So, initially it will just be the typical, eh, you know, afternoon thunderstorm or two, you know, whatever. But then, as you approach October, and especially November, that's when you start having strong low pressure systems forming. And with a La Nina fall, the storms do track through here. So, obviously, people in the Great Lakes, through into Minnesota and potentially North Dakota will need to monitor the potential of large storms later this fall. And then moving way down south, dry and hot. It's just going to be very dry and very hot throughout the season. Again, typical for La Nina fall. Then up towards Montana, Hit or miss storms and cooler than normal. So throughout the season, it's looking like it will be mainly somewhat cooler than normal. Not by too much, but it will be a bit cooler than normal. And then also this area will see hit or miss storms. Like occasionally you'll have a large storm or two. Again, especially later into the season move through, but not as frequently as say to the southeast or to its east. Then in this sort of tan here, dry and hot, a bit wet in the mountains. Now, that's a question because, again, it depends on where storm systems do develop that would later, again, track through this region. But otherwise, towards lower elevations, expected to be dry and hot overall, overall, except for, again, the higher elevations. Then move. Further to the northwest here, cooler and wet. So now the exception would be towards the valleys of 
say California here, maybe once every while towards here, but all rice for the most part will be cooler than normal and also quite wet because again, tracking off of this, a lot of storms will come through here, bring a lot of rain, well, and snow to the mountains, but that's towards fall, I mean winter, and then track through there. But then here, last zone, there's actually the potential for early mountain snowfall in September. As you have seen a week ago, it did snow in British Columbia. And with what the CFS is trending towards, it wouldn't be out of the question for a snowfall to even occur late uh, August. So that just increases. Um, that just made me reason with, okay, yeah, it's looking like this area is just going to see early mountain snowfall. So that's it for the zones now. For a question many of you will be asking, when could we when and where could we see some snowfall this fall? So as you can see here, again, highlighted this area for a potential snowfall in September. So it's down from southwestern Wyoming into western Washington. Mainly the high elevations, you could see a snowfall or two towards September. Then towards October, you could actually see a snowfall occur from northern Wisconsin down into eastern Washington, then in another zone in the highest elevations of Vermont and New Hampshire. Now, I go off based off of typical historical records with La Nina's and what current tre model trends show. So again, it's looking like most likely these zones will see snowfall in October, then November, November. Potentially some snowfall in these zones in November. Now, November is a bit more questionable because October is one thing, but November is another in Reason being is that November tends to bring in large storms, so although these zones do tend to get them, well, for instance, one one storm could track through here and say produce a large snowfall from Nebraska down into northern Wisconsin, but then also there could be another one that just produces none. So November. Typically, here you would see snow, but again, with a La Nina fall, I mean, that's just going to change it up a bit. So, well, that's the fall, the first preliminary fall 2021 outlook. I will release another one in the next, like, three or four weeks, maybe 